So I'm not really a sports guy. I grew up watching college football, a little bit of NFL, but as I got older, I just kind of got out of watching sports. It's just not interesting to me. But I was especially never into soccer. For me, that and baseball are like the most boring sports to watch, potentially. It's just not interesting at all. So normally I wouldn't even be talking about a sports game at all, especially a soccer sports game, but I saw an article today that I thought was pretty interesting, so let's talk about it. So EA is apparently adding these No Room for Racism kits to FIFA 2020 because of a game that happened, I think, pretty recently where the crowd was insanely racist to the England team. Like, they were doing, like, Nazi salutes in the crowd and everything. I always find this stuff to be kind of funny whenever they add this stuff to video games because, honestly, all it is is trying to bring traction to their video game, trying to get more players to their video game. Good PR for them. When in reality, this isn't doing anything. If you were to wear a No Room for Racism jersey while playing like a soccer game online, you're more than likely going to get racial slurs thrown at you. It's similar to when they add like pride flags, rainbow flags, LGBT stuff to video games. Like Having that on your profile more than likely is just going to get you bullied even more. There's already so much shit talking when it comes to video games online. This is only going to exacerbate it, right? And regardless of whether you're in support of these developers doing this anti-bullying stuff, anti-racism stuff, LGBT pride stuff, at the end of the day, it's really just marketing. It's just PR for them to make them look good in the public eye. That's all it's for. And ultimately, they're empty platitudes to stand on anyway because you're not really having that much of an original thought. Most people are anti-racism, anti-bullying, maybe not LGBT pride, but live your life however you want to as long as it doesn't really affect me. If you're gay, you're bi, whatever, who cares? There's also a stadium thing along with this, so I guess as you're kicking around the old soccer ball, the old football, there's going to be banners in the background that say, no room for racism. Now I am kind of poking fun at this, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really hurt anything. It is a free download. They're not trying to gouge people for money for this. Obviously, they look pretty bad if they did. And hell, it might actually help something, which I highly doubt, but who knows, man. It's a video game outfit. Like, they're taking something that happened IRL and then putting it into a video game. Like, why not resolve the IRL situation and try to better that instead of the video game world? And honestly, I don't even know who would use this, even if they did download it, because if I, I'm being completely honest, if I'm playing some sort of online competitive multiplayer game, and they come out with a No Room for Racism outfit, camo, whatever, calling card, I'm probably going to download it because it's free, but I will never, ever use it. What they should do, because EA is extremely greedy and has a ton of money, is donate so much to some sort of anti-racism charity per download, like in a couple cents, however much, per download, so that, that kind of gives that incentive to want to download it. Like, you know what, maybe I, this is bullshit, maybe it's just something stupid that's in a video game, but hell, if I download it, I'm doing my part. Because then there's something here, like if uh, if they're donating like, I don't know, 10 cents per download, you're looking at like a million downloads, is like a $100,000 donation to some sort of charity. Like, that's a great look for everybody. Anyways, my dudes, that's the video. Wasn't planning on putting out a video today, but I seen this article and figured we'd talk about it, do a kind of quick upload tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Once to update with more FIFA 2020 racism content, turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description. I'm right out of breath. <sighs> and in the outro. Later, guys.